All right, playoffs again. Um, I'm going to do the um, the fourth seeded Eagles. They won the NFC East. They are nine and seven. Uh, they're the fourth seed, and then the fifth seed is the Seattle Seahawks. They fifth. Uh, they eleven and five. Um, better record, but remember the Seahawks is in the 49ers division. So I mean, people are saying the top sixteen. I like the way they do the playoffs. Uh, I like the way the NFL do the playoffs because um, I mean, if you win a division, you deserve a home game. I think. Yep, but the Seahawks might have an argument with that. Like, our division better than other divisions, so. The NFC East was weak this year, man. The Giants was weak and the Redskins. They did compete, but. Um, how you doing, Ronald? Um, who you got, Eagles or Seahawks? I don't know if you big in football, but. I'm not going to make the prediction to the end, though, but. Let's start with the schedules first this time. The Eagles. And when I go through the schedule, I don't count the uh, I don't talk about the games that they play the teams that didn't make the playoffs. I think it, the the strength of schedule matters. Uh, the Eagles, it might be a long shot. They just like the Vikings, they got to play on the road all the way through the playoffs. The only only home game they might get is uh, an NFC championship if the Vikings make it, which I don't see happening, but um, dang, I hope my computer don't freeze. So, yeah, I got the, um, I'm going to do the prediction at the end. But here's the Eagles schedule. Um, so they beat the Redskins, Falcons, Lions. They, they beat three teams that didn't make the playoffs the first three games. Well, they lost to the Lions, but uh, Deshaun Jackson is out, and that's my concern. To me, that just, that done it for me as far as them trying to get to the Super Bowl. But we'll see. Um. They uh, they beat Green Bay at Green Bay, thirty four to twenty seven. Yeah, actually, they might play Green Bay next round. Nope. Oh no, Eagles the fourth seed. I keep thinking they're the sixth seed. So the Eagles the fourth seed. Uh, so the Eagle, only way the Eagles play the Packers is the Vikings win, because the Vikings will go to Forty Nine ers. So the only way the Eagles they got to beat the Seahawks and have the Vikings win. To play the Packers, so that might be the team they want to play instead of the 49ers. But um, then the Eagles, uh, they lost to the Vikings, um, and in Minnesota, 38 to 20. Uh, they beat the Bills 31 to 13 in Buffalo. Uh, they lost to the Patriots 17 to 10 in Philly. They lost to the Seahawks 17 to 9 in Philly. Yeah, I'm concerned, man. That's that's how the game gonna be. 17. So this is a similar game. Seahawks 17 to, to the Eagles 9. Um, the Eagles, then they ain't play no more playoff teams after that. They play the Giants again, the Redskins again, the Cowboys again. Um, let's see. So the, a similar game is a head to head. Eagles was at home against the Seahawks. The Eagles lost seventeen to nine that game. Oh yeah, then another concern though. I forgot about that. I was talking about the Seahawks. I might have to change my mind on the Seahawks because they lost Rashard Penny and um. Carson, Chris Carson. They lost their running game, but they got Marshawn Lynch now. Um, I still, I'm still concerned about it, though, bro. Um, now let's go to the quarterbacks. Yeah, so speaking of that, it's, it's going to be Lynch. Um, who the other running back? Let's see. I know they lost uh, Penny and uh, Carson. Russell Wilson played 16 games, all 16 games, started all 16, 11, 11 and 5 as a quarterback, 341 for 516, 66.1 completion percentage, 4,110 in yards, 31 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Um, wow, he had a great season, wow. Um, did, did I say Wilson? Uh, yeah, I did say Wilson was a top four quarterback. I think it's Wilson, not in order, Wilson, Mahomes, Jackson, and um, Breeze. That's my top four. 101.2 quarterback rating. TJ, what up? I'm going through Seahawks and Eagles. Who you got? Um, passing, I got. Um, he had 106 quarterback rating. That's ridiculous. 256.9 yards. And Wilson be working with nothing most of the time. Like I'm saying, he never had like a Julio Jones or nothing at receiver. At the best, who's the best receiver? He had Tate or Golden Tate. Like he's good, but um, do he have Baldwin? Um, I'm just saying, Wilson like. The Seahawks, I think they even in re I think they said they was in rebuild mode and they still eleven and five. 
Like Russell Wilson gets you wins, man. He got he, he not gonna make a lot of mistakes. He not gonna get sacked a lot. So that's what I'm concerned about with the Eagles. Are they gonna put the pressure on him? Like, um, and Carson Wilson's a good quarterback in his own right. I got him in my top ten, not top five. I got Wilson top five, top four. Um, Carson Wentz plays all sixteen games this year and started all sixteen. So now we finally got a whole full sample size, a full nice size, of, and see how good he is really. But he was uh, 388 for 607 for 63.9 completion percentage, 4,039 yards, 27 touchdowns, only seven picks, 252 yards per game, 93 uh, 1.1 quarterback rating. Yeah, Wentz, when he did what he did against the um, Cowboys, um, well, it wasn't the Cowboys, it was another game that he he proved that he was a top 10 quarterback. Eagles. Now let's go through the. Let's see. I didn't mention nothing really about the defenses in the other video, but. So I got the Eagles. Um. I go to Eagles team stats. They twenty four point one points. They twelve in points. Uh, they 14th in yards. That's a concern. 360.8. Pass yards, they 11th. And then rushing yards, they 11th. That's, I mean, that's pretty good, 11th for rushing. But uh, that's what I was thinking about. Miles Sanders is healthy. Miles Sanders had uh, 818 yards, 4.6 yards per carry, three touchdowns. Uh, Jordan Howard, 525 for six touchdowns. Um, they both healthy. Yeah, they, they, they got a chance. Uh, Boston Scott got five touchdowns this season. I guess Sproles, I guess I forgot Sproles was still on there, but Sproles, he not going to, they going to have a rotation of uh, Miles Sanders and Jordan Howard receiving. Um, Zach Ertz, one of the best tight ends, 916 yards with six uh, touchdowns. Uh, so they got, uh, they don't have Dallas Go Dirt no more, do they? Okay, oh, yeah, Dallas Go Dirt, um, you know, he be balling too. He got five touchdowns this year. Miles Sanders got three receiving. It's just the injuries that I'm worried about for both teams, actually. Okay, the Seahawks, 25th in points. Um, they ninth in points, uh, ninth ranked. They uh, eighth in yards, 14th in passing yards, and fourth in rushing yards. Um, a lot of that is Russell Wilson, too, because Wilson got 342 yards and three touchdowns of running back. Chris Carson, 1,237 touchdowns. He's out. Richard Penny, 370 yards, 5.7 yards a carry. Like, Richard Penny was balling before he got hurt. Three touchdowns. He probably was better than um, Carson when he was healthy. Then. So basically, Travis Homer going to be their running back. He had 18 carries for 114 yards this year, 6.3 yards a carry. Then Marshawn Lynch only played one game, 12, 12 uh, rushes for 34 yards, 2.8 yards a carry, one touchdown. But he'd be warmed up. He, he used this game to warm up. Then the uh, receivers, we already know they got Tyler Lockett with 1,050 yards and eight touchdowns. D DK Metcalf, the speedster, uh, 900 yards for seven uh, seven touchdowns. Then Hollister, tight end, three touchdowns. He had 349 yards. They still got David Moore, too. He had two touchdowns. And Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon, seven catches for 139 yards. It just depends. Both of these teams is um, kind of disappointment sometimes. And then here's the Seahawks. Uh, who they beat that that was important. They played at Seattle um, against the Saints. They lost 33-27. Um, they lost at home to Baltimore. 30, they was at home, Seattle, 30-16. to 16. That's what I'm saying. Like, when they play good teams, I don't know. Like, they beat San Francisco at, uh, in San Francisco 27-24 in Week 10. Um, then they had a bye week, Week 11. Week 12, they beat the Philly. Philly was out. Like, I already talked about that. Seattle beat them 17-9 on the road. Then Seattle beat Minnesota at home 37-30. Then they came back and got blown out by the Rams 28-12. That's when they inconsistent, man. Then they beat uh, the, the, Seahawks, the Panthers by 6. Then they lost to the 49ers at home uh, the last game 26-21. I don't really put too much stock in that one. Um, I mean, they was playing for something, but it's week 17. Like, who cares? But Yep, so uh, my prediction for this game... I got the Seahawks uh, beating the Eagles. The Eagles at home, and they do got weapons, but they missing Deshaun Jackson. 
Um, but then again, they missed Rashard Penny and Chris Carson, the Seahawks are. I just think it come down to me trusting Russell Wilson more than Wentz. I had the I had the Eagles going to the Super Bowl at the beginning. I had the Eagles and over the Chiefs actually, and I'm going against my conviction. I'm going against my own prediction, man. I had the Eagles preseason over the Chiefs in a Super Bowl, um, and that's crazy. It took a lot for me to pick somebody over the Chiefs, but uh, it's not even looking like neither one of them might make it. But we'll see. I got Seattle uh, winning on the road, so. Uh, yeah, I had to, I told you I had Texans and Bills, Texas over Bills, Saints over Vikings. So that's two home teams winning. This is the first road team I got winning. This is the only road team I got winning in the wild card. The next video is gonna be Titans and Patriots. Um, Titans made it at the last week, at the last minute. Um, they're a pretty good team, but we'll see what they do against New England. But, all right, y'all, thanks for watching. I get, like I said, um, let's say yeah, the NFC. I'm done with the NFC wild card. So I got the Saints over the Vikings and the Eagles over the Seahawks. I mean, Seahawks over the Eagles. So, the Seahawks would be the fifth seed. Seahawks would go. Then I had the Seahawks going to play the 49ers again in, in San Francisco this time. And then I had the Saints going to play the Packers. The Saints have to go on the road to Green Bay, which is going to be hard. But we'll see.